Right, well, welcome to Dupin. It's a seaside town in Belgium. And as you can see, the sun is right in my face. We're about an hour and a half before sunset, and I've just got my camera set up, um, doing some test shots. Um, I'd have liked a few more dunes actually in front of the composition, but it's going to be a little bit tricky to do that. And I'm here actually with a friend of mine over there, Marco. He's got his tripod set up, and uh, we'll see what we can get. But uh, it's going to be a waiting game. I need the sun to come down. Um, and hopefully there's some, some nice clouds on the horizon. But it's always good to come ahead of time. Um, like that you can check out the location and uh, get set up. There's a nature reserve right over here behind this barbed wire. And uh, I completely understand when you've got dunes you don't want people walking in and out destroying all the grasses and coming onto the beach. I completely get that. But unfortunately there's not even one single walkway from the entrance of the reserve down to the beach. That would have been really cool if it was just like a, a boardwalk that would have got us here. We could have at least got an elevation point on the onto the beach, but it isn't to be. And um, if you just look the other side, so the other side of those dunes, there's some beautiful scenery. And then over here, you can see got a few dunes on the beach, not many. Fortunately, <coughs> you've got some nice contours here, but uh, quite a few people have walked through. It's understandable few footprints from birds and dogs and things so just gonna have a bit of an explore around here and see what we get probably get about three or four photos I actually had a walk up and down the dunes earlier on and I'll just include a couple of the shots that I put in there Um, I didn't actually video what I was doing, um, so I was still exploring. But I'll just give you a quick situational report on where I am. So, you see down here, we just got some nice textures in the sand and uh, some grasses coming out of that dune, which is quite nice. And um, I'll ho hopefully get the sun coming down on the horizon around about 8, 8.45, 8.50 this evening. It's actually incredible weather for the beginning of May. Last week it's been wet, cold, horrible, so bank holiday, it's fantastic weather to come out to the beach. So we're still fighting the sun. It's still very, very intense, which is just unusual for Belgium. And, uh, the yachts kind of went under the sun, so I'm just waiting for them to pop out the inside. And there's, um, there's a pole just out in the water with a bird on it. I can't quite see if it's a cormorant or a heron. Um, and I've got the 70 to 200 on, but uh, it's just a little bit short, so I'm gonna have to probably crop it. But um, yeah, I was wishing I actually had 600 millimeter on there, because believe it or not, that would make a beautiful landscape even at 600 millimeter. And um, yeah, I've just got a, a grad on and a polarizer to reduce the glare. Let's just take a look. Yeah, so got my grad on, strongest grad possible, and the polarizer. And he's a bit far away. I'll see if I can zoom in actually on this camera. Marco was just saying as we were walking up from the dunes, he checked his phone. We've actually walked into France, so if I just show you. Down that way is Dupin, so we're in Belgium. We walked all along this beach. There are our shadows there, right? And it was around about this area. And if we go around here, that's where our tripods are set up. All the way down there, where we're pointing our, our lenses towards is Dunkirk. So yeah, our phone signals are telling us we've just actually walked straight over the border into France. Right, so we're suddenly in shade. And uh, it's amazing how sunsets creep up on you so quickly. I've been here an hour and a half already, and um, we're heading back towards the dunes. So we want to get set up. I don't know if you can see over my shoulder, the sun's just starting to pop behind the clouds. I'm so pleased that cloud's there because all day we've had blue skies. Normally we're covered in cloud in Belgium, but um, today we've had a blue sky day. So we've got a couple of little dunes that we've noticed on the way to the sea. Gonna go back there. 
probably going to put the 24 70 millimeter lens on. I'm not sure. I'm keeping the 70 to 200 on for the moment because between the water and the dunes, there's still quite a lot of beach. It's uh, low tide today, so I don't know. I'll leave the lens on for the moment, and then might might flip it out to the 24 70. But this is the moment where you have to work really quick um, because there will be a window of opportunity where the sun will just pop down below a couple of those cloud layers, colours will start popping and uh, I want to make sure I get the right filters on, hopefully get at least two images but uh, yeah, it's been a uh, quite productive late afternoon, early evening uh, sortie. It's nice to actually be able to go and say for this trip I've taken images both in Belgium and in France, that's pretty cool. Right, so uh, it's a 24-70 lens and uh, it's not quite at the horizon, probably got about 20 minutes or so, I've got my filters on. It's actually proving very, very difficult to expose right now. So I'm having to take a couple of uh, multi-exposures and I'll try and blend them. Because I've got like a dune in front but there's quite a lot of um, shadow there and I want to try and eliminate that. So we'll see. Um, Given another 20 minutes or so, I think the colours will start popping in the sky and hopefully we'll get a, a good shot. So, some fun and games. Uh, my filter holder fell off the lens. In the sand, that's not good. Uh, so, my polarizer is going to have to have a bath when I get home. But I managed to rescue my grads um, and then I've just switched into a, a portrait orientation. And, um, yeah, we've got 10 minutes until the sun will actually go past the horizon. Um, and yeah, it's always interesting to watch the sunset because obviously the glare goes, the light becomes much softer. And I probably overshot today, but I haven't moved position. So I'll take the best one and stick it on the end of this video and you can see how it came out. But I think I've got at least one shot in there that looks pretty good.